Hello and welcome back to Walton, where the Swans are back in action today for another big game at home to Binfield. We're going to be looking to make it 12 wins in a row, just shy of that 13 record win streak for the club set by Alan Dowst in 2005. Let's hope it's another three points today, Tom. Yeah, look, Tej, make no mistake, this is going to be a tough game. You know, Binfield, they're pushing for the playoffs. Obviously, we know a win today will secure us in the playoffs, but we're on a big winning streak of our own and we want to keep that going. It's going to be tricky. We saw that when we went away at Binfield. We won 2-0 that day. I hope he wins today. Yeah, it's getting towards the business end of the season now. Away to Oxbridge next week and then the big one on the 1st of April at home to Basingstoke. They're really coming thick and fast now, so let's hope we can get a bit more momentum going before that one against Basingstoke, I think. Yeah, business end of the season and every game is going to feel like a cup final and I have full faith in the boys to deliver. Yeah, it's another big one today. Time for today's lineups. It's an unchanged lineup for the Swans today. Liam Allen in goal with Joe Prattley Jones at right back, Harry Mills at left back, centre back pairing of Mitchell Goff and Joe Hicks. Three in midfield of Arson Oikai, Alex Kelly, and John Gilbert as the 10. Eddie Simon leads the line down the middle, Jordan Adiemi down the left, and Theo Kurteran on the right. On the bench today, it's Daryl Shaw, Daryl Coleman, Torin Roberts, Oli Tom, and Jonathan Gosh. <laughs> We've got another one, Brad Pagliaroli up front. Oh, Arson nicks that one. Plays a little one two with John. He'll send it back to Joe PJ. Yeah, Swans of men wide. That's it's a nice, nice ball through to Alex Kelly, who's got a bit of space to work with here. John Gilbert's in the box. If he can find him, it's a nice reverse ball to Eddie Simon. Ooh. And it's a good save from Harvey Rackley Hayes in the binfield net to keep it goalless. Yeah, we, we've seen it time and time again from it. It was just a clever little run behind the defenders. They couldn't pick up where he was and he just floated into that bit of space on the edge of the six yard box. Swans looking dangerous early and knocking on the door. Teo Kurtaran over this towards the back post. Mitchell Goff gets it and it's Eddie Simon! Who else was it ever going to be? It's his seventh goal in the month of March and his red hot streak in front of goal continues. 1 0 Swans. Given away by Arson yeah, but recovered up. by Hicks. Binfield still in possession. Swans getting men back. There's an overlap on here from Kai Hobbs. Stephen Gunga on the ball. Gunga with some nice footwork and has a shot, but it's a tame one yeah, and a trick wide away. of that. He actually played us a few weeks ago for South Park or Ashford? Fun, no, I think it was, was Ashford. It? Ashford. Ashford. Ashford, it might have been, yeah. Well, that must be mid February actually now, I guess. But. So uh, over this, Mitchell Goff making the run to the back post again, as we've seen so often. It goes short. Eddie oh. Simon there, but it's a brilliant save. So nearly his second. He read that so well to get on the end of it. Oh, and Alex flick that on goal Hunter. bound. Connor Lynch. That'll be well, this, this is going to be an interesting Kelly. moment here. It shouldn't be a red because there were men back. Yeah, yeah. It's never a red, but. And uh, <laughs> swung in by Denton towards the back stick. Once again, Joe Prattley Jones is up to win that. It's another ball in. Flicked over by the Binfield strike for a goal kick. Binfield just starting to knock on the door a bit, yeah. I think. Yeah, Swans living dangerously at the back. Yeah, it's, a good, it's a good press from Binfield. Oh, and Harry Mills with a sloppy header backwards. Binfield shooting it, flashes wide of Liam's far post. Ooh. It was Brad Pagliaroli, the number 11, who it's won the ball off. The end uh, of it, no surprises for uh, guessing that Mitchell Goff run into the box. Straight back out to Teo. We'll have a second bite at the cherry. Jordan with him. It's a nice ball. Hicks is there. Can't quite get the decisive guided touch, and it just floats past that far post there. Mitchell Goff at the back post. Kurtaran swings this one in. It's the same as before. Millsy back in towards the back stick, and it's just onto the roof of the net. Just slow down in the wing positions. I think perhaps we might see Oli Twom in the second half, who is someone who does not like to dither on the ball too much. There's always someone who just motors down the flank. Hang on, here's Jordan. And Jordan is through here. He's got Eddie across. Jordan can go alone. And once again, he's fluffed his lines. He can recycle, though, and has a strike and finds the bottom corner. It's a brilliant finish from Jordan Adiemi to make up there. Finds the bottom corner from about 20 yards out, and it's a massive goal before half time from the Swans to make it 2 0. Yeah, huge. He thought the chance just got away from him. But he's turned back on it, one touch out his feet, 
and back across goes to that bottom left corner. Oh, slip from the keeper. It's over PJ's head. It's Bagliaroli driving past PJ, and it's a Ooh, wow. strike goal bound. Comes off the back Brilliant. of Joe Hicks, I think it was. So that's a number... scuffle there between, it was Pagliaroli, the number 11. A brilliant goal. Yeah. Come on, Connor, let's go! As it stands, uh, North would have leapfrogged Marlow into third. And here is Eddie Simon. He's away here. Can Eddie get a shot away? Bearing down on goal. As cool as ever, Eddie Simon. Red hot in front of goal. It's his second of the game. It's his ninth, eighth. I've lost count of this Tish. month. We're all losing count. As Taylor Morgan will be break away. Alex Kelly wins it. Brilliant from Kelly. He's got to remember he's on that yellow card, Kelly. Yeah, I do not want to risk a suspension either. Eddie Simon driving. Who can he pick out? He John cuts inside. Can he go alone? He does. Oh my word! Eddie Simon, how dare you! It's a third straight hat-trick for Eddie Simon, and it's probably the best of the season so far. What an unbelievable goal to put the Swans 4-0 up. I'm out of words, Jack. Swans win it. John Gilbert, Alex Kelly quite clearly fouled. Eddie Simon Eddie making another run. Uh, Gilbert can't quite play it in time, but Teo Kurtaran's there. Can he get one away? And it's a good save for the Binfield keeper, Ooh, and it just it about, yeah, goes over. But that was a nasty challenge on Alex Kelly. Yeah. I don't think the ref knows who did it. We know how dangerous Harry Mills is from these set pieces. He hasn't scored since January, actually. Here he is over this one. Millsy over the wall, and it's absolutely beautiful. Harry Mills from the set piece. How many times have we seen that from him? And it's a stroll in the park for the Swans. 5-1 up. And a gorgeous, gorgeous free kick from Harry Mills. Yeah. It's quite a physical battle in the uh, yeah, final stages of the game now. Binfield really putting their bodies on the line and in the way. Oli Twam is away down the flank. And he's still got it. Ah! Oh! It's a penalty. The line is flagged for a pen. Well, the ref says nothing doing. You could probably count on one hand the number of times three straight hat tricks have been scored in the English Pyramid. Chance for Binfield here. Connor, oh, it's Taylor Morgan skips past his man, but Liam Allen sticks out a good hand to send that behind for a corner. Archbridge got another. Two minutes Anthony plus. Anthony Mendy. If they can lose. Oh, get their comms on. Get their comms on. Uh, nah, no. There you go, Binfield. He's going to have a go. No, he is might he? as well. Straight at Liam. Yeah, it was down the middle of the goal. That was perhaps towards the corners. It might have worked Liam a bit more, but tame effort in the end. That is full time. A third straight hat trick from the league's hottest striker, Eddie Simon. Five goals in back to back weeks, and it's win number 12 in a row for Walton and Hersham. Here with today's Hagley West man, the match, Harry Mills following that 5 1 win. Now, as soon as you stepped up for that free kick, I knew Teo was trying to take it off you. You were down getting treatment for a minute or two, came back up, and I just saw the keeper shuffle over a touch. A touch too much, you would think. And Jack and I on commentary were up there, like, you knew that was in. Yeah, 100%. As soon as I hit it, I knew it was in. I wasn't too sure if I was going to take it at first because I know Teo's unreal um, free kicks as well. He's got, like, such a clean strike on him. Mm. But um, Eddie, Eddie told me straight away, he's like, you're taking it. So I was like, oh, yeah, I don't mind. I'll, I'll see how it goes. And then, yeah, like you said, keeper just uh, took a step over and I was like, like we're open here. So yeah. I thought it was fine. And as soon as I hit it, I knew it was in. Yeah, you had a couple back in January against Marlow, I believe, and then another mm. against Sutton Common Rovers. But it was a bit of a gap, about six, seven week gap without a goal, which is, I think the longest you've gone without a goal yeah. the whole season. Mm. How, was, was that playing on your mind or...? No, not really. I think because the role that I kind of play, where it's like I'll go left back and then I'll go right back, I kind mm. of go all over. It's not really, like, scoring goals isn't really something that I 
go into a game thinking I'm going to do. Mm. It's just I'm going to play my game, and if it, if an opportunity presents itself, and then hopefully I'll be able to take it. So yeah, I've just um, I don't really think about those sort of stats really. Yeah, and you've been pretty versatile this season, playing at right wing at the start of the season, yeah. then dropping to right back. You've been left back mainly uh, in the past few weeks. How's it been shuffling around those roles? I'm right to Minister. I'm quite comfortable, and especially the way you, the way we play, sorry, and the way they set us up doesn't really matter. Anyone can probably play anywhere in our team. Mm. If, you're, if, you're, if you can control the ball and you can pass the ball five, ten yards, that's all you need. So if you are in trouble, there's always like a teammate to help out to get us out of trouble. So I'm more than um, more than capable of it. Yeah, perfect. Cheers, Harry. Thank you. Here with the manager Scott Harris, following another five goals and another three points from the Swans, it was another brilliant afternoon from start to finish. A third straight Eddie Simon hat trick. How would you sum up today's afternoon for the Swans? Yeah, it's hard for it not to be about Eddie every week, isn't it, at the moment? But uh, no, I've got to say that was uh, probably may have said this a couple of times before, so I don't want to be quoted on it too much. But that's probably one of my all-time favourite performances from us. Uh, I've really enjoyed it from minute one. Um, we thought the pitch was going to be quick because of all the rain, but mm. the sun come out and sort of dried it in an instant. And the pitch was actually a bit sticky today, which can end up being a you know it sl can slow you down a little bit out here. But the guys really just kept injecting the speed. The ball was moving so quickly, and uh, just when game plans put, come off, everything we've been working on lately. You know, again, sound like a broken record saying this, but it's it's just so pleasing to see. It's so pleasing. Um, yeah, it's you know, and make no mistake, they're not a bad side either. Mm. They're not a bad side. They got you know, it got a bit ragged towards the end for them. Obviously, a bit demoralising with the way the game had gone. But their first half was was hard work. You know, they they really did uh, put up a good showing. And yeah, I'm actually quite glad they got one back before half time because it meant we had to yeah. to re-inject the life into the, the second half again and go and win win another half. So yeah, and, and obviously that that they did. Yeah, again, a theme we're starting to see develop in recent weeks is contrary to conceding the opening goal, we're coming out of the blocks and scoring early. What's that down to, do you think, and how much do you think that's helped us really build in the game? Um, one thing I would say, uh, I think our fitness levels at the moment are really good, uh, really sharp, all the, all the guys. So week by week, that sort of you know sloppiness, sluggishness, whatever you want to call it, it just seems to be non-existent at the moment because of everyone's levels are just really really on point and uh, we got like I've mentioned before we got a couple that, that do drag the others along like John Gilbert from you know the, the first whistle is always all action and it really does gra you know gravitate to, to a few of the other guys and uh, yeah I could name a number of them that really brought great energy uh, at, the at the start of the game um, yeah but it's yeah it, basically it's a team like I said to them before we went out Let's look like a team that's that's trying to win the league. Let, you know, let's not have to remind ourselves of that after half an hour that we've got a big game to play. We should be looking like that. We've got everything to play for. Yeah. So. Yeah. Oli Twom also had quite a decent cameo today, and it was nice to see him get some minutes off the bench and be productive. Probably should have won a penalty if it weren't for a, yeah. a no call from the referee. Yeah, How he, good is it to he, have him? And can we look to see him feature a lot more in coming weeks? Yeah, I mean, as as people may notice, um, Palace Francis loan has, has expired now, and he's he's gone back to to Welling. So it sort of coincides with Ollie's return to fitness and and form. By the way, like he's uh, he's been looking really good in training, mm. and I thought, like you say, he looked sharp when he come on, and was unlucky not to have come up with an assist or or won a penalty, like, as you say. Uh, he'll be sitting in there now, sort of really looking forward to the next time, uh, next chance to get out there. Um, and uh, there's a chance he might end up playing maybe another uh, game here and there for Cobham. He's been yeah. on a dual reg, so any midweek games for them, we're going to try and fit in for him, mm. um, which has been really helpful to get him get yeah. him back to his his sharpness levels. And yeah, like it's it's an added bonus. I think uh, both the other guys that played off the sides today, Jordan, his his work rate again was exceptional as well. Mm. Constant threat. Glad he got himself a goal. Uh, he needs that. Uh, for his confidence, like all forward players. And of course, Eddie on the other side was just, yeah, ridiculous that the last goal sort of summed that up. Yeah, probably the best of the season, I think. But Yeah, keep saying it. Yeah. <laughs> keep reviewing goal of the season, you know, every other week, it seems. But yeah, I think everyone on the ground was sort of breathtaking by that one. Yeah. 30 league goals for the season for Eddie Simon. It's a 12th straight win for the Swans and we'll be back to make it 13 or try to make it 13 away to Uxbridge next week. We'll see you guys then.